All right, yo, what's up, guys? Logos here, and in today's video, let me show you guys how to vertical. Like, I don't know why I said vertical like that, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to vertical, like, uh, how a pro player would. Um, so uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Now, the first step to learning how to vertical is to know what your form is, and by that, I mean you need to know kind of what your own form is and how you feel about your vertical form. Me personally, I go like this. Um, I think that's what most people do also. Um, you kind of get used to it as you go on. But after you've done that, let's get into the part where you actually learn how to vertical. So for your vertical, you actually want to kind of look into the wall a little bit when you're wall running. Sort of like this. So whenever you go up, like you don't fall. But then if I look away from the wall, what am my vertical? See how easy it is to fall off? So it makes a huge difference in your vertical. But um, yeah, so for the next step is finding which wall you're the best at at verticaling. Um, me personally, I vertical on all walls. Like there's no walls I'm specifically good at. But um, one good learning spot is sort of part of like right here on the wall. So right here, uh, uh, as you can see, it's like really flat right there. So it's really easy to vertical right there. So what you could do to practice is kind of just wall run here and then start your vertical. Um, and after a while you should just be able to go straight up. Another great spot to do your vertical is on this wall right here. This is back wall. Um, this part of the wall right here is almost completely flat with no bumps. But towards the top, it's a little bumpy. So this is also a great spot for doing your vertical. As you can see, it's kind of no effort whenever I, you go to that wall. But um, another great spot is this part of the wall right here. Or no, not this part. This part right here. And what you do is you just go like this to this branch right here. And that's basically the concept um, of why you need to vertical. I guess there's a little bit more, um, but I can cover that in my next video. But um, yeah, let's get to the next step. So after you've practiced your vertical for a long time and you've done it for a bit, a great spot to um, do your vertical and actually put it to use is right here. This part will get you to that branch. It'll, it'll get you anywhere to, for your rotate. So if you're coming from like, if you're coming from over here and you're going to this wall, you just hit a quick, and yeah, that was bad, but you get my point. You just go quickly. And I think it's easier to do it right here. But yeah, this most of the time gets me a good rotation. Um, but yeah, same goes with the left hand. If you're doing a left hand vert, just come over here and do the same thing. Over to this branch. For some reason, I'm better at doing a left hand vertical on this wall than right hand. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. So, if you've practiced a lot and played a lot, um, I'd say for a good three weeks, you should be good at verticaling after that time. Your vertical should look something a little bit like this. You should be able to do that, make it to slippery, but you can just go straight up and do it that way, but I personally like just going that way a little bit so I can rotate more. And also, if you've mastered vertic uh, doing a vertical, you can come to this part of the wall right here and then just go to like this branch and go wherever you want to but um but yeah i guess that's it for today's video if you guys enjoy like and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video peace that was corny as fuck <laughs>